This is a story about one family. This is their journey. A journey of faith. A journey of challenges. And a journey of obedience. Introducing Joseph, Mary, and the baby Jesus on the road to Egypt, part one. This is a story about Joseph, Mary, and the baby Jesus. It begins in the town of Bethlehem, and good news is spreading fast that a king of the Jews is born. For some, this is great news. For others, this is competition. Joseph, Mary, and the baby Jesus, away from the manger, have just arrived in a small inn accommodation where they needed some much good night rest, especially for the new arrival. Mary and baby Jesus quickly settle in and go straight to bed. It has been a very tiresome couple of days after all. Joseph, on the other hand, though tired, just can't stop thinking of what has just happened. He's not overwhelmed as he was before the visit from the angel, yet it was still hard for him to take it all in. As he looked across the room, leaning on the window frame, mother and son sleeping so peacefully, it then dawned on him the weight of the task ahead. Sweat pouring down his face, and hand on his head, Joseph, with a heavy sigh, said to himself, Oh, oh my, I am now the father of God himself. Just as those words flooded his human philosophy, the door shook from the heavy knock. What was that, Joseph? Mary quickly sprung okay. up and immediately cradled the baby. One second. Strangely though, I'll, I'll find the it. baby did not cry, but actually kept on sleeping. Joseph quickly shuffled to the door, hands shaking ever so slightly. Who is there? Joseph whispered. It is I, the innkeeper. Who? Came the voice from the other side of the door, whispering slightly louder. Are you okay? I've got some more blankets and, and, and sheets, and, and yes, even milk for the baby also. Oh, okay, okay. As the fear slowly evaporated, oh, a joyous you, smile was the much the order of the day as Joseph quickly opened the door. <sighs> Thank you, God. Thank you. Meanwhile, Herod was waiting word from three men who were heading to see the baby king, due to be born anytime soon. He was hoping they would be bringing back word by now. And yet, it's been three days and nothing. Pacing like a man possessed, he suddenly flips over the trays of fruit on the table. Ah! Oh, he exclaimed. This cannot be happening! He screamed out. His attendants and advisors rushed in. They were outside the courtyard at the request of Herod as he wanted some time to himself earlier. As they came rushing in, looking concerned, more out of fear than genuine care for the king, King Herod walked forward and held one of the advisors called Ahule by Come his here. Ahule, where is this king? Where is the so-called king? Where is he? He wants to take my throne. Where is he? Where is he? He asked one more time. No one dared say the word. No one said anything. They all knew that one wrong move will mean instant death. Okay. Okay, Herod said calmly, if I don't hear from those traitors tomorrow, then 
I expect a solution to this question. How do I destroy this enemy to my throne? I expect an answer at dawn. With that, he dashed out and headed to the king's quarters. His servants and guards following suit. Now, it has been three days since the birth of Jesus. Joseph and Mary have been getting a lot of support from the landlord and his family. They couldn't be happier and more comfortable. Joseph sits down by Mary cradling this little baby still coming to terms with what has just happened. Mary looks up at Joseph with a smile. Emmanuel, God is with us. She says softly. Joseph smiles, leans over and gives her a gentle kiss on the cheek. It is 3 a.m. in the middle of the night and Joseph and his family are fast asleep. Suddenly, a voice echoes the room. Joseph. Joseph wakes up. He immediately looks round, but there is no one to be seen. Joseph. The voice echoes again. Yes, Lord. Realizing who it was. Just then, a bright figure appeared right beside him. It was the same angel he saw before Jesus was born. Joseph was completely in awe of his presence and could say nothing. Joseph. Joseph. The angel called out one more time. Yes, Lord. I am Gabriel, a servant of the Most High God. Take up your family and the baby with you and head to Egypt in the morning. His life is at risk. Do not waste any time. Take your essentials and go. The Lord God is with you. With those last words, Joseph woke up. <sighs> it was a dream. But then Mary also woke up. They both looked at each other and knew what they had to do, as Mary also had the same dream. Joseph, we have to go to Egypt. Y yes, e Egypt, Joseph replied. So at the crack of dawn, they all got their essential belongings, as instructed, and set out with the baby, and Mary sitting on the donkey, Headed for Egypt. No words were spoken. It was just silence, broken only by the baby Jesus, giggles and gently rustling of moving items on the donkey. They never looked back. It was just another turn in the journey constantly unraveling.